It's all for the booty, boys. It's all for the fucking booty. You hear me? You're watching the SRT God Channel. Yo, 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 what to do is your boy the SRT God back in the red eye. You know, your boy's going super broke, so you gotta jump with the red eye from the TRX to the red eye from the TRX to the red eye from the red eye to the TRX. You know what it is. But we are on our way to the gym. Uh, we are gonna be hitting legs, so I'm gonna try to get some filming on that stuff, show you guys what we're doing couple little tips couple little things here like I've always said though I am NOT a professional at working out I do it for myself if you want to take some of the tips knock yourself out you know what I mean I am NOT a professional never claim to be and never will be if you say you're a professional you're full of shit but anyways we're gonna head over there make sure you guys sit back grab your protein grab your popcorn sit back relax and enjoy the show because we got kind of a fun filled time today um, like I said, just sit back and watch. You know what I mean? We'll get it figured out. Let's get it. All right, guys. So we're just going to hit the gym real quick. But I wanted to mention that I am part of Hyphy Life team. I'm super excited about it. So, guys, make sure you guys use code SRTGOD. Simple. Go to the website. Get what you want. Scroll down. Hit order summary. Put me in the code SRTGOD. Today, then, I'm going to hit the Hyphy Mud pre-workout. This shit right here, I'm not going to lie to you guys, is legit as fuck. Um... I take a half a scoop. I, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. This this is probably the most potent stuff that I've ever taken as as pre workout, and it's it's legit. So I do a half a scoop of that um, right before the workout. I do that with the recovery. I also mix the recovery in as well with my pre workout. You can do it before. You can do it after. You can do it throughout the day. It doesn't even matter when you do it. Just make sure that you're getting the recovery in. Um, the aminos are super, super important. I do a full scoop just because <clears throat> the taste is super good. I do not have any of the watermelon uh, pump. I am completely out, which that stuff has been selling out and it's awesome. So today I'm gonna go with the wild blackberry because I am all out of the watermelon. Guys, this shit's legit. Um, I sweat my ass off with this stuff. It's, it's no joke. If you guys wanna pump it, especially if you're lean, and you take this shit, your pump is crazy. It's insane. It's tight. It's it's. I love it, man. I, I love the brand. That's why I decided to join with them was because I believe in what they're doing. I believe in them. I've been with other companies and kind of just didn't didn't fit my need of where I was and I didn't see the vision. With uh, Cali, I see them. I see his vision. I've supported him for years. I've watched him. Um, and I just, I'm excited to be about the team and, um, and represent him and so forth. So, you know, I got to mix it up with the smart water because I've heard the more you drink of this, the smarter you get. So I need this shit by the gallon because I need some smart marbles up in my fucking brain, man. I don't, I don't have very many left. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to mix this up with some nice cold water, shake it up, drink it and, uh, get up on my leg workout. See y'all in the gym. Let's get it. So I'm on the leg extension. I've told you guys this before, but I have had people ask me questions about feet placement. In my opinion, go where it's comfortable. Some people say, move your feet out like this, put your feet in like this. It does work the inner to the outer. I get it. If you want to do this, you're going to feel it on the outer quad. If you go in, you're going to feel it on the inner teardrop. I get that. I just go straight because my knees are horrible. Make sure you guys come up, squeeze, back down, up, squeeze, back down. These levers over here are here for a reason. You want to pull your ass down in the seat. You don't want your ass coming up. It's no good for that guy. going to wreck your knees. So make sure you pull it down and driving that booty right into the seat. Squeeze, squeeze, boom, boom. Let's go. You can do inner or outer, it don't matter. Let's fucking get it, man. It's game time. All right, guys, so I'm gonna show you the one-legged, I call them tip-overs because my balance sucks ass. If you ever wanna check your balance, try doing this, man, I'm serious. You can do this with a dumbbell as well. I don't necessarily do it because I'm still working on my balance. It doesn't make sense to add weight if your form sucks ass, right? So I use just a tube plastic, at this, at this gym here, they have them all over the place. Some of them have them, some don't. 
You can use a broomstick, you can use whatever you want. It's just a, something that helps hold you so you don't tip over. And you also don't want to grip it, you know what I'm saying? So when you come down, you're just going to kind of use it as a guidance. This, so you're going to use opposite hand, opposite foot. Always remember opposite. Put it out, take it forward, come back. Like you're stroking, you know what I mean? It's just like you're stroking your pipe. So make sure you're not squeezing. You want it to go down. Use it as a guidance, man. I'm telling you. Do 10 of these on each side and work on your balance. This is gonna get your hamstrings. This is gonna work your hamstrings. It's gonna get a good stretch in there for the whole nine yards. I don't have big ones, but I'm trying. That's all that matters. So make sure when you're coming down, Come down, you squeeze on that heel, and you push back up on the heel, not on your toes. Make sure you're always putting pressure on them heels, man. Let's get it. So this one is the one-legged hamstring curl. I like this one for multiple reasons. You can focus on one leg at a time. It gives you a lot more uh, time to focus, you know what I'm saying? So basically, this is gonna be your pad for the front of your leg. This is where you're gonna kneel. You're gonna put your leg here. Some people stand on this one too. If you're a little bit taller, you can stand on it. But put a knee here, leg behind the bar. I'm just doing a light 25 today, higher reps. But you're gonna lean forward, stick out your butt a little bit, and curl. When you come up, I want you to squeeze on top of that. Like I said, some people stand on this. If you're a little bit taller, you can stand. You know what I'm saying? Just move that over. This slides both ways. You can move every, all the legs. But uh, man, it's just another little, another little trick you guys can do to get these hamstrings blowing, blowing, and get the blood moving. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to show you the one-legged lunges. You can do these in multiple different ways. You can do them multiple by continuing to move forward, or you can do them stationary. I do them stationary. Some people do weights, some don't. I don't like to do weights just because my knees are terrible. So if you want to do weights, do it to where you feel comfortable. You're going to get more resistance. You're going to feel it more without weights, obviously. So make sure you guys clock in. Guys, so I'm gonna do the hip thrust. Now this is just one of many, many machines that they have out there. This is just one that the gym that I'm going to today has. This is a very good machine for the booty, for the core, for the whole midsection. In my opinion, go heavy and do as much as you possibly can. The reason I say that is because your booty is a very, very big fatty muscle. So make sure you guys are working it to get that dense type. I'm gonna try 315, let's see if I can get this shit. For the booty boys it's all for the fucker booty you hear me all right boys let's go for that 415 type it wasn't for hypeylife.com i would be getting it Fuck boy. 
just killed our legs. Did a huge workout. You know I gotta refuel, so I'm about to eat some food. Uh, butter, what is this place called? Buttered Tin. Butter Tin in Northeast Minneapolis. Man, I'm hungry as hell. About to smash the cinnamon roll. I have another burrito coming as well. And uh, yeah, man, I'm hungry, so let's get at it and eat. You know what I mean? So I got the burrito. Man, look at this thing. This thing is huge. It's got some of the sauces on it, man. I'm telling you what, this shit is bomb. Let's break into it. I want to show you the inside of this shit, man. This is crazy. Full, too, man. This is full. See that? It's got all the good shit in there, man. I've eaten at this place before. It's super good. What'd you get? Avocado toast. Avocado toast. Is that to his? That's a his and a hers type right there, man. She eat little shit, I'm eating big shit. Got some eggs, some bread, some fucking rabbit food. You know what I mean? That's crazy, man. Delicious. Man, that shit looks good, though. Let's rub all in. We are on our way to the marina. Guys, I'm super excited. We are going to check out a boat that uh, we might be buying first time we're looking at it is right now so we're gonna go check it out see if we like it um, I've always wanted what do we got here man a fucking car show what the fuck going on here a bunch of little tour coupes see this guys check this shit out man just a random pop-up what the fuck oh anyways we're gonna check out this marina down here and uh, check out this boat and see if we like it if we do we're gonna put a put an offer in and see what we got man because next year is gonna be fun it's all coming to the channel, man. I'm super excited. So make sure you guys stay tuned because I'll show you guys the boat when we get there. So I wanted to give you a real quick video walkthrough today of this 98 Wellcraft 3000 Martinique. It's a little breezy out today, so we're going to make the outside kind of quick here. But uh, as we work around the outside, this boat does have a full canvas enclosure. Work down the front of the boat, you'll see those nice big bow rails, center mounted cleats, easy to access water and waste fittings, and a nice big flat deck area up top. Three big portholes in the top. You have a beach to bow ladder out the front and a windless anchor. Just a good looking overall exterior and a very sharp profile on this Wellcraft 3000 Martinique. Since it's windy out, let's work our way inside. So as we enter the boat, I think that 10 and a half foot beam really becomes uh, noticeable. Nice big seating area in the back. It does not have the bench seat that goes across the back part, but it is a great place to set a cooler. Large table here, and there is a pad that can go on top of that table. Carpeting in the boat is in very, very nice shape. Probably hard to see that in video. Work our way inside here, and off to the port side, you do have a wet bar. Simply flip up the lid, and you've got your sink. I really love the port side companion seating on the 3000 Martinique. They do a neat job where you can sit forward or backwards. That section there can be removed, so if you just want forward facing seating without having your legs up, that's easy to do. Work our way over to the helm and you've got a nice, at least double wide, almost triple wide helm seat. It's very big, very comfortable setup. And take a look at this dash, the whole dash panel up above here was all completely replaced all the gauges you also see the simrad that was recently put in just gives it a good good look to it easy to use controls your trim tabs are easy to access just a sharp looking package but like i said those gauges and everything turned out really really nice and when not in use there is a complete canvas dash cover that simply snaps on and goes over top keeps everything nice and clean and organized and out of the sun from that point let's go down inside the cabin nice easy to access door here as you work your way inside it is very expansive nice headroom big dinette off to the starboard side all the upholstery is in very nice shape big forward bed I do like the vinyl headliner as well and again those three big porthole hatches let a lot of natural light into this 3000 Martinique this boat here, kind of a unique feature, it is a linered boat, so if you look down inside, this carpeting is removable. This is all a solid fiberglass liner that is set in the boat. Kind of a unique feature with the Wellcraft. Work our way forward, you're going to notice that nice big forward 
bed area. Uh, the hatch right above you, nice lighting, like the uh, fabrics and upholstery they use, gives it a good look. You also have a step here, uh, closet. Right in front of that, off to the port side, is your galley with your microwave, your stovetop, cabinetry underneath, and the refrigerator is actually right under here. Again, the vinyl and upholstery in the boat, especially for the dinette, this can convert into a bed, all in very nice shape. While we're working our way this way, we may as well look into the mid cabin. The mid cabin is very nice, very accessible. I like how the uh, steps are cut out. The curtain is across there right now. But you uh, look at the access into the mid cabin is phenomenal. Go down inside and it can be set up where you have it as like a, a sofa seating area, but then it can fill in to be a main bed as well. And of course we can't leave the inside of the boat without taking a look at the head compartment. And for a 30 foot boat it's very very impressive. It's got vacuum flush head. I like the way they did the flooring in it. Countertops are attractive. You have nice storage. A little bit of window action there which is nice. Let some light in. But overall a good looking galley or a good looking head compartment on a 30 foot boat. Alright guys so you guys obviously see what the boat looks like. We're super happy with it. It's a used boat. Uh, it's actually considered a yacht, so it's a 30 foot, 30 foot boat cruiser yacht, and uh, it's used. But man, for our first boat, I'm not trying to go out and spend you know 400 thousand on a boat when I don't even know if I'm gonna like it. You know what I'm saying? So it's got a cutty. You guys saw that. It's got you know very spacious, very big. It's 10 and a half feet wide, 30 foot. Yo, man, I think it's a good a good buy. Um, you know, obviously you guys know with the market right now, a lot of people aren't budging on the price that they're asking for it. So we're going to throw in an offer. We're going to see what happens and, and go from there. But like I said, it's a hard market. So a lot of, a lot of people aren't budging on the, on their, what they're asking for. But in Minnesota, it's becoming that time to where you're going to have to store it, pay for all that. So fingers crossed that they that they would take an offer that we're um, gonna throw at them hopefully in the next week we'll find out but uh, tonight we're gonna throw an offer in on this boat and uh, you guys comment below let me know if you guys would rock with this boat because this thing's gonna come to the channel next year if, if everything works out and goes through like we want to want it to happen uh, you know it is what it is but it's, it's gonna be fun I think it's gonna be good we're gonna grill do all kinds of shit so comment below let me know what you guys think of it and uh, I'll see you guys on the flip side. Cross your fingers, hope we get it. Let's go.